This is practice unit assessment number one for National 5 expressions and formulae. I'm going to do questions one and two. They make up the standard 1.1. So I'll complete them first. So first question. Simplify giving your answer in sub form. And what I'm going to start with is root 32. Okay. So with root 32, I'm going to consider the factors of 32. The factors of 32 are the numbers that multiply together to make 32. So what I'll consider will be... 1 times 32, uh, 2 times 16 would give me 32, 4 times 8 will give me 32, and that looks like all the factors that I would be using. I'm looking for square numbers in here, so there's a square number there, there's a square number there, there's a square number there. Okay, so what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the highest square number, which is 16, and I'm going to pair that up with 2. So my first Part of the question will give me root 16 and root 2. Then I'm going to simplify that down further. I've got root 16 will give me 4, root 2, and 4 root 2 will be my final answer. Question 2a part 1 is an indices question. What I'm going to be looking at is simplifying this expression that I have here. So I'm going to use the, the laws of indices to do that. When I multiply X, X is with, uh, with indices, what I'll do is I'll add the indices together. So multiplying will add the indices. So I'll start with X, and it's going to be to the power of 4 plus 6, and it's all still going to be over X to the power of 3. I haven't changed that at all. To simplify the top, just add them together, and that gives me X to the power of 10 divided by X to the power of 3. Now... The next law I'm going to be interested in is the division. When I'm dividing with indices, I'm going to be subtracting. So my next line will be x to the power of 10, take away 3, and my final answer there should give me x to the power of 7 when I take 3 away from 10. And that's going to be my final answer there. Next question, another indices question. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the indices. And I'm going to use the same idea as I did at the start. So the law I'm going to use is I'm going to be adding the indices together. And I'll just need to be careful because that's a negative and it's also a fraction. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the two numbers together. That should give me 20. Then I'll have x and I'm going to have 4. And it's going to be plus or minus, plus or minus 5 upon 2. Okay. So to do this sum here, you know, the adding the fractions, I'm going to convert 4 to halves. So how many halves are there in 4? There's going to be 8 halves in 4. So what I'm going to write down here is I'm going to write 8 over 2 instead of 4. And I'm going to drop that plus because plus or minus just makes a minus. And that will be 5 over 2. From there, I'm going to work out the, the takeaway sum here. And that should give me 20 x to the power of 3 over 2. And that should be my solution. Can't simplify that any further. With question 2 part b, we have a question that asks the, the number of people attending a football match was 3.12 times 10 to the power of 4. If each person paid £27, how much was collected? And finally we give our answer in scientific notation. So... What I'm going to do here is I'm going to start with uh, the number of people and I'm going to multiply that by the £27. Okay. So if I do that on my calculator, so I'll be putting into the calculator 3.12 and I'll be using the button in the middle at the bottom of the calculator which will give me the, the power and that will give me to the power of 4, 10 to the power of 4 and I'll multiply that by 27. What I should get out from that will be an answer of 842400. Zero, zero. Okay? And the final part, remember, in the question was to write that in scientific notation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get my decimal point, which on a whole number starting here, and I'm going to see how many times I'm going to move that back to get it in between the first and the second digit. So I'm moving it one, two, three, four, five places. So I'm going to write down my number, 8.424 times 10 to the power of 5. Okay. So the way this section is going to be marked 
is that we'll get one mark for simplifying the, the thirds down in the first case. If you use the wrong factors, but you still simplify it correctly, you will get that mark. This mark here is for putting it in the simplest form, so that's two marks for question number one. Next mark is going to come along when we see uh, x to the power of 10, and the second mark will be x to the power of 7. In question 2a, part 2, what we'll look for is to see the 20 is going to give us one mark, and to see the x to the power of 3 upon 2, that will give us our second mark. For 2 part B, what I'm looking for is, I'm looking for an answer of multiplying, knowing to multiply these together, and calculating the amount, and then finally for transferring it into scientific notation. Remember, just at the end there, that would be in pounds.